سدلتی فی قلوب الذین کفر الرعب ویری سون وی شیل کاسٹ انٹو دی ہارٹس آف دیز ان بلیورز ٹیرر ٹیرر اینڈ فیئر فار یو بے با اشرقو باللہ مالم ینزل بہی سلطانہ بیکاوز بیکاوز آف دیٹ دیٹ دی ایسوسییٹڈ وید اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سچ سچ ڈیئیٹیز فور جو ڈیئیٹیز about whom Allah, Sultan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent down any authority, any certificate. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not certified that such and such gods are also my partners. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not certified that I have taken such and such person as my son. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given any certificate to anything, anybody that he is my equal, my partner. Actually, this is very important because no book which claims to be divine, which claims to have revelation, has any basis of shirk. Fatu, Fatu bi kitabi ko, bring forth your book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran challenges the mushrikeen of Makkah. If you have something written, any book, any scripture, from any of your gods, if you claim that it is from Allah, it is from, it, it has come after revelation, well bring it and show us. Where is, is it written that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken such and such, such and such people or such and such persons as partners with him and associates with him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given the authority or certificate to anything that he is his partner. Because this is the biggest crime, therefore the terror and the robe and the fear of, of you, O Muslims, will be cast into their, into, into their hearts. وَبِيَ سَمَسْوَ الظَّالِمِينَ Baba who would not, and now their abode is fire, and that is a very bad place, resting place for the evil doers. Babe is a Muslim Zalimin. Walakat Sadaqakumullahu Wadahu. Now, this is the most important comment that you Muslims, you cannot complain to us for this affliction that you got, for this wound that was inflicted on your body. It is your own doing. It is due to your own mistake. You can't blame us. You can't complain to us. We had given you the victory as we had promised. وَلَقَدْ صَدَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ Allah had fulfilled with you His promise. Is تَخُسُّونَهُمْ بِعِذْنِ When you were exterminating, exterminating them with His command, with His help, with His command, you were killing them. You had routed them. They were running. They were on their heels. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had fulfilled His promise. وَلَقَدْ صَدَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ اِسْتَخُسُّونَهُ بِعِزْمِ حَتَّى اِذَا فَشِلْتُمْ But when, when you loosened the discipline, you got loosened, حَتَّى اِذَا فَشِلْتُمْ Now this looseness, what I understand is the looseness of discipline, of some rata'ah. Because the commander at that place who was heading those 50 archers, he never permitted anybody to go and leave that place. So they broke the discipline. Fashil means weakness. You showed the weakness. But not weakness individually. Weakness as a group. Because the group is only powerful when it is disciplined. When it is cohesive. When it is bunyanu barsus. Then it is powerful. And when the discipline is loose, then it becomes very weak. فَحَبْتَا إِذَا فَشِلْتُ وَتَنَازَاتُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ And you disputed about the matter. Your commander was saying not to leave. And you left. And you said that the Prophet had said that if all of us are killed and you see the birds are eating our flesh, even then you don't leave this place. But now the situation is contrary. There is victory for the Muslims. There is no need of staying here. So they left that place. So that was the dispute. Although because the commander was not permitting, they shouldn't have left that place. Then it was duty for them to, to obey. As the Prophet says, مَنْ أَتَعَنِي فَقَدْ أَتَعَ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ أَسَعَنِي فَقَدْ أَسَ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ أَتَعَ أَمِيرِي فَقَدْ أَتَعَ أَمِيرِي وَمَنْ أَسَعَ أَمِيرِي فَقَدْ أَسَعَ أَمِيرِي Whosoever obeys me, he obeys Allah. Whosoever disobeys me, he disobeys Allah. Whosoever obeys an Amir appointed by me, 
he obeys me. And whosoever disobeys an Amir, he, who has been appointed by me, actually he is disobeying me. So it, it amounted to a disobedient, disobedience of the Prophet. Although actually, for them, it was not a disobedience of the Prophet, but it was a disobedience to the commander. But that commander's own disobedience, according to the saying of the Prophet, amounts to the disobedience to the Prophet And you disobeyed after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed you what you like and what you love. Most of the Mufassirin, they say that it means the booty, the mal ghaniman, the anfal, the spoils of the war. They went, then they ran from their position to collect the booty, to collect the spoils. I disagree here. Because you know, after the Battle of Badr, the law about Anfal was given. Whether somebody had collected something or not, it was irrelevant now. All the booty, all the spoils, all the Anfal were to be collected and then distributed equally. The double share was to go to the riders who have some horse or camel also with them. They used to feed them. And single chair for the people, for the footman, whosoever is a soldier, foot soldier. So actually there was no need of their leaving that place to collect these spoils. It was absolutely irrelevant. So what they loved was victory. And I have the example in Surah Al-Saf. وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا نَسْرٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَتْحٌ قَرِيمٌ Actually, after seeing this victory, they loosened. Their, their resolve was loosened. And this resulted in, in, in the loosening of their discipline. And this resulted in that they disputed with their Amir. And that, was, that became the cause for the big defeat. Temporary, although it was, but it was a big defeat, no doubt. That was the result of all this. But this was all your own doing. It is not from Allah. Only Allah didn't obstruct it. Allah let it happen. Allah gave, gave the permission that it happen. This is also based on a wisdom. So that you have a lesson for future. So that you can bend your ways for the time to come. Otherwise if the punishment didn't come, you could be very loose in your, in, in your behavior afterwards also. So it was to teach you a lesson that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't condone your mistake. But anyhow, what happened was due to your mistake. It's very important and very profound ayah. Amongst you are those who intend to have this world. Fatah is also for this world. And there are among you those who really want to have Akhirah. Summa sarafakum anhum. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned your faces from them. When the Quraysh were running, the Muslims were chasing them. But now, when there was a charge from, from the back, from behind of the cavalry of the Quraysh, now the faces of the Muslims were turned back. So now the tables were turned and now the Quraysh were chasing them. So this was summa sarafakum anhum. So as to put you into a test. It was a testing for you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you. Your mistake has been condoned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not bring you, take you to task for this mistake now. Here and here and now. We have we have pardoned you, we have forgiven you. And Allah is very bountiful. For the moment, for the believers.